Hey everyone, I am Alex here at Vakanine TCG. Today I am starting something totally different from what I've typically done on this channel. Today I am going to begin a challenge mode walkthrough for Pokemon Infinite Fusion, a fan-made Pokemon game you could download straight to your computer um, that lets you pretty much merge any Pokemon that they've added to the game so far. There is like 300-something Pokemon in the game, I believe, and as of the last time I checked, I think the website showed that there were like 144,000 different combinations. I've actually played through this game twice already um, in preparation to do an actual recorded walkthrough because I want to make sure... And I, So, let me back up a moment. I was inspired to do this by um, a YouTuber named Hero Voltsy. Um, Hero Voltsy did a playthrough of Infinite Fusion. He does playthroughs of all sorts of fan-made Pokemon games and, and real Pokemon games. Um, but he did one of these for Infinite Fusion like two years ago. Um, and now that it's been a couple years, I I think his version was pretty close to 4.9.2. But I wanted to do another walkthrough just, just to update everyone and maybe I'll separate out some of the videos for getting through certain areas of the game. I know um, the tunnel... Uh, what's it called? The Indigo Plateau Tunnel to get to the Pokemon League was quite difficult. Not difficult, but long, and there's a lot of places along the way that you don't know if you're doing it right. And then catching the legendary Pokemon Kyrum, um, that ice sliding puzzle was an absolute bear to figure out, and I actually had to watch through a whole long walk through the or not walk through but a video that hero Voltsy had posted just to find how to get through that ice area because it took i i just i couldn't do it i i felt incredibly inadequate trying to figure that out so what i'm gonna do is probably walk through it'll it i'm gonna start out trying to go one episode for each gym but then as the story gets longer and we get into it i might have to split that up even further i don't know how many episodes it's going to be but i think it's roughly going to take me 25 to 30 hours to finish the actual game so that probably is going to lead to like 50 to 60 episodes um that that's if i continue through with all the post game stuff which i would like to if no one's watching i'll probably keep recording these anyway but oh wow that's a cool fusion gengar right you um Anyway, if I uh, if I if no one's watching and they don't really care, I'll keep recording for the future. But I'll just uh, not post them unless there's actually a demand for it. Um, but let's get started on actually creating the setup for the game. There's a few different ways I want to do this. Um, so it's going to be a challenge mode. I will start us up now, and I'm going to do new game. And what I would like to do is I would do it, I'd like to do some partial randomization, and I'd also, as the challenge mode, like to do a uh, single type challenge. Um, I'm not doing any sort of Nuzlocke. That would be very hard. I've already played through the... Um, yeah, I'll be 10 years old. That's cool. I'm a child. Mail, city, pallet town, name. Well, for this, we are Vakanine TCG. No, not TG. TCG. Enter. Um, I'm going to use the bug type as the challenge mode that I'm doing. So, because I think bugs are probably the weakest type in the game. And why not? You know, why why not do that as a challenge mode? Um, why can't I submit? Did I do something wrong? Oh, there we go. No, I already did that. Vaca 9 TCG. Enter and enter. Do I have to click it? Maybe Vaca 9 TCG is too long. Um, how about we just do, um, if that's too long, can we just do Vakanine? Enter. Does that work? Okay, that works. It was just too long of a name. Anyway, I'm going to use the bug type, so my entire team is going to have to be bug type. Um, I've already done a playthrough on, like, a harder the up difficulty setting of this game and the trainer leveling is fine i could beat most trainers pretty easily but once i got to the later gyms my team was so severely under leveled i'm talking like i fought the eighth gym leader and his pokemon were in the late 50s early 60s for level and mine were in the mid 40s and i could not beat him um 
and that's also partially because as you fuse and unfuse Pokemon, you do lose levels and experience, so you're kind of constantly backtracking. But now I know, and now I'm hoping that now this is my third time playing this and my second time on the challenging setting, that I can do a bug-type only party um, walkthrough sort of filming playthrough of this game and not hopefully get sent back a million times. I'll obviously clean some things up in editing, but... Yeah, let's just get started on the randomizer settings. So I am going to randomize starters because I'm going to... I'm, I will film me choosing the starter, obviously, but I'm going to do some resets of the game if I don't get a bug option as a starter Pokemon. And so I am going to turn starter randomization on, but I might have to, I might have to reset a couple of times. Um, but if I do have to reset a few times, I'll just cut all that stuff out in the middle. Trainers, uh... I'm going to keep that off only because some of the trainers offer trades of their Pokemon, and I found that it was really confusing trying to figure out what Pokemon I was going to get in a randomized trade. It was it was just really weird. I'm going to keep the trainer randomization off. Wild Pokemon? Uh, since I'm doing all bugs, let's randomize the Pokemon in the areas I find. So last time I did this, let's see. So you can do global or area. I believe... Global randomization. Oh, what is it? I, you know what? Here, let me look it up quickly. Okay, for this, we're going to do area mapping. The way it works is global mapping. It basically takes, like, it's used the Pokédex and maps one for one. So for global mapping, what would happen is, say, Route 2 has Rat Rat um, then... Anywhere, if that got swapped out for a Magnemite, then anywhere in the Pokemon world that would normally have a Rattata, Rattata is uh, going to become a Magnemite. I should have used a different Pokemon as an example. Um, so, if, another example. If you would normally find a Pidgey on Route 1, then that gets swapped out with, let's say, a Caterpie on Route 1 instead to randomize it. On global, every area in the entire Pokemon world that would have normally had a um, Pidgey now has a Caterpie, whereas area randomization means for each route you'll get a random Pokemon. Essentially, global is a little bit more consistency, and area is a lot more variety. I just think the variety is more fun, so we're going to go with that. Static encounters. So this is interesting. Um, that's basically Pokemon that would be standard there, like... Uh, you know, Moltres, Zapdos, are, well, that might be, uh, yeah, Static Encounters, that's a tough one. That's like Snorlax, what will Snorlax be when we encounter it? It could be a random Pokemon of, hmm, Static? Let, we'll randomize Static, that'll be fine. Instead of moving a sleeping Snorlax, we'll move a sleeping something else. Gift Pokemon, I actually keep that randomization off, because I realized in my other playthrough, I was trying to go to the game corner and get a Dratini, and it randomized Dratini and gave me like a Sandshrew, and I was like, uh-oh. And I just started having a lot of trouble with Gift Pokemon, so we're going to keep that randomization off, just so we can get something if we can't find it in the wild. Fuse everything, no, not happening. I do not want to fuse everything. Okay, so that's the wild Pokemon. Confirm. Item customization. I tried basically customizing everything the first time I played through this, and I will not do that again. Um, items, I got so many just berries and duplicates of evolution items that I would never need. Like, I got so many of the, uh, in this game it's called a Magnet Stone to evolve Magne Magneton into Magnezone. I didn't need that many Magnezone. Long story short, item randomization makes the game very frustrating because you never, you very rarely find useful items, and the useful ones you end up getting duplicates of. So we're keeping that randomization off. The items that should be in places will be in places. That being said, I think it's totally fun to randomize the TMs you pick up on the ground. So like we could find in a normal route where in the beginning of the game they're like, oh, you're just gonna find this TM and it's gonna be attract. Now that TM could be Thunderbolt, and I think that's just fun because. That'll offset some of the difficulty with our bug-type team if we can get some cool TMs to teach our Pokemon early in the game. Um, okay, so there's those randomizer settings. So starters on, trainers off, wild Pokemon on, items off. Now I wonder if the gym randomization is under the trainers too. Hmm, let's check. Oh, it is. Okay, okay. So we're turning it on. 
for trainers, let's do custom sprites only off. I'm going to keep custom sprites only off. I, I didn't find anything about that. I'm assuming that would only give trainers a custom sprite. Whereas some are from the Pokemon Fusion online setting thing, whereas others have custom sprites built to make them look cooler. Um, so for now, I'm keeping custom sprites off. But that'll be cool once they have version 5.0 out. I bet there'll be a lot more custom sprites to test out. And we could always upgrade the game at that point if we if it's out, like, officially. Trainer held items. Let's do... Um, let's turn that off. I don't really want the trainers having a bunch of random held items. Gym types. Now that I'm going to randomize. I like not knowing what the gym, gym leader types are going to be. I think it adds another layer of complexity to the game because the first gym could be like a fire type which will kill our bugs granted rock would kill our bug types but yeah i kind of like having the randomized gyms okay confirm so we're back here now we've got starters trainers wild pokemon items off tms on confirm i don't want to make this intro too long now randomness degree i did i think i messed this up last time because early in the game i was facing legendaries so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do custom randomness and basically the degree of randomness tells you what you could find. So for trainer Pokemon, I want them to be consistent with what a normal playthrough would be. So if you do zero, they're going to have basically the same Pokemon you would normally face. And this chart is showing if you have if they have 30, they'll have generally the same level Pokemon. Whereas 300, they're going to have just absolutely insane randomness. Like a gym leader could end up with a magic carp. Or a Lugia. Like, there's just too much randomness. So I'm actually going... Last time I did 50 or 100... No, I did 100 for trainers, and that was really weird. So I'm going to actually do 30, because I think that's good. Trainers will end up roughly where they should be. Um, so for trainers, it'll be 30. Okay, for wild Pokemon, let's do... Um, I mean, I want a little variety in wild Pokemon, but I do want it to be fairly the same. So, again, let's do 30 for that. Enter. Okay. Starters on. Which, yeah, starters will be random. Everything. Yep, 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 yep. Items off. TMs on. Are these settings correct? Yes. Now I fast forward while we wait for it to shuffle absolutely everything. So, just listen to some music while we wait. Or I'll edit it out so you don't have to see the shuffling. Trainers have been shuffled. Now it's going to take shuffling the Pokedex. Generating encounter files. Okay. There we go. Game difficulty. Now this is what I'm talking about. So I am going to do hard right here. Would you like to turn on autosave? This game, unfortunately, at least in this version, does crash quite a bit depending on... It usually has to do with like catching strong Pokemon I've noticed or there's something there's some things that just overwhelm the game so I'm going to turn auto save on and what I usually do is I do it on when healing I do it on when catching Pokemon though that has also caused it to crash no yeah I'm going to do that and after trainer battles and then I basically turned all the auto saves on and I liked the 500 steps being when it auto saved um, that's like using two max repels I think that's a good distance before it should before it should auto save um, so enter and confirm, and we can always edit these later. Skip the intro. <sighs> I would like to skip the intro, but it is a walkthrough, so let's watch it together. Silphco is now proud to announce the new product that will be revolution that will revolutionize Pokemon battling: DNA splicers. This new device extracts the DNA of two Pokemon and combines them to create an entirely new species. And now it's going to give us an example. Gengar. Nidoran. Watch the magic before your eyes. Woo! Haha! -ha, very, very creepy, kind of um, mysterious looking Nidoran. They can learn moves from both halves. And you can try it on your own Pokemon, of course. And now they're available for purchase at the Sylph Co. Pokemon Infinite Fusion! By the way, as we get through the intro, I will put the link to the download in um, the description of this video. And I'll keep it in the description for all Pokemon Infinite Fusion recordings. And here we are in Vakanine's room. 
So I will talk through this with you, obviously doing the normal steps as we move along. Um, let me talk to my mom here. She gave us a gift. We are pleased to announce that your Pokemon League application has been accepted. You are hereby recognized as official trainer. You can now earn badges and take on the Pokemon League challenge. You will find your trainer card attached to this letter. We wish you the best of luck. The Pokemon League admission board. That's nice of them. They, ad they admitted a 10-year-old boy to the Pokemon League. Classic. So, what did it say? They accepted, you as an app they accepted your application. Awesome. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. Oh, and the boy next door, of course, is received to Gary. I overheard Professor Oak talking about it. Hmm, what is the name you'd like to call him again? Oh, this is perfect. I've used Gary, I've used Blue, but you know what this one is? It's Dinkleberg. Dinkleberg with an exclamation point. Enter. I probably spelt that wrong, but that's okay. Oh, yes, that's right. I'm sure that you and Dinkleberg will have a ton of fun on your Pokemon journey together. That's it, dear. Go have fun on your adventure. All right, so this is where it's going to get a little interesting. I'm going to have to go see what the starter options are, and if it's not a bug type, I'm going to keep resetting this until we get a bug type, so you won't have to see all the resets. But, uh, yeah, it could take me a long time, so let's go. Oh, and let me make sure running is on. Yep, okay, there's running. First time I played this game, I got till Cerulean City before I realized I could just turn on the running. Yo, Vakanine! Guess who just accepted it? was just accepted as an official Pokemon trainer? That's right, me! Uh, you got a letter too? I'm surprised they let you in. I didn't think the standards were so low. I wish Pokemon still had uh, rivals that were this mean nowadays. Now they're just all friends. Well, I guess there's no point in bragging about mine now then. Anyway, Gramps told me he's going to give me my first Pokemon. He went to Viridian City to run an errand, but he told me to wait for him at the lab. See ya! And of course, we're going to the lab with him. Actually, I think you're supposed to go up here and get told not to first. Vakanine! Haha, <laughs> yep. Careful, I stopped you just in time. There are hostile Pokemon that way. It's dangerous to go without a Pokemon. Speaking of which, I almost forgot. Today is the day you're... Really, Madden? I don't want to play Madden 23. Isn't today the day you're supposed to receive your first Pokemon? Come, follow me to my lab. It's getting late. I'll be better to talk there. I should be recording this just on the screen, but whatever. I'll test out different things. It's time for you two to set out on your journey. Go and grab your Pokemon off the table. No fair. Why does Vakanine always get to pick first? You'll get one too, Blue. Oh, he's called him Blue. That's not his name. His name is Dinkleberg. Be patient. Okay, let's see our options. Oh man, Cyndaquil. I can't. He's not a bug. Coldine. She's not a bug. Dratini. Oh wow, do I want a Dratini. But Dratini's not a bug either. So this is where I start resetting things a million times. Uh, I'll be back once I've found a bug type starter option. Don't, w don't hold your breath. Alright, I am back. I, I did a couple of resets to get a random bug starter. And then I realized the chances of that were so slim. And then I did a little bit more research. And it turns out with our third, our like 30 stat value range we put in for the randomness um a charmander for example has a total stat value of 309 well a weedle has a 195 so 30 is not going to get us a bug type we would have to have an inc completely insane randomized um stat value for the pokemon randomization and if that happened there would also be a chance of us getting like a freaking insane starter like an evil an evolve starter so, we're just going to have to pick one of the next three starters I see here and merge it with a bug type as soon as possible so that we can start our bug challenge. Um, unless we get lucky right now, but I doubt that's going to happen. So, it's time for us to start our journey officially. Go and grab your Pokemon off the table. Let's see. Why does Vakanine always get to pick first? And then he calls him Blue, even though it's Dinkleberg. Okay, let's see our three options. This time it's official. And... Clefairy. Oh, interesting. Huh, okay. Oh, there's Cyndaquil again. Oh, I do want to choose Cyndaquil, but I won't. And Coldeen again. Ugh. I definitely don't want Coldeen. No. Well, let's think. This is going to be merged with a bug. Typhlosion's not the worst to mix with a bug. Oh, the other thing. 
when I merge them, I can't merge a bug and have it lose its bug typing. The bug is going to have to keep... It's going to have to stay a bug type. Um, so that might limit limit our fusions a little bit, because if I lose the bug typing on something, I won't be able to keep that, and I'll have to flip it. Um, like, basically, my team, it can't just be made of bugs. It has to physically be part bug when I'm playing through. Um, that being said... Uh, Clefairy's a... It wouldn't hurt to have a fairy type, like a Wigglytuff fairy type. Hmm, but Cyndaquil's fun. Oh, also, what will be Gary? Because he's going to fuse the other two. He's going to get... Oh, he's going to have... Goldeen, of course. I'm stumped here, folks. What should I do? Cyndaquil or Clefairy? Let's do Cyndaquil. Yes. No nickname. And of course, Gary's going to come in, snag the other two, and splice them together, because he is not the nicest man. And his name's not Gary, it's Dinkleberg. Classic Dinkleberg. And of course, now we have to battle, and he's going to beat me. Let's have a battle, see how much stronger a Pokemon gets when it's fused. I forget, I'm on. since we're on the hard mode, there's a good chance... Oh wow, that music is loud. Jeez, I might have to turn that down. Golf Fairy. Ew. Oh, I can't even tell you what that looks like. And yep, see, here's a good example right up here. It's already level 6 because we are on the challenging mode. So I don't like our chances, but let's give it a leer or two. Yeah, get that defense down before we tackle it to death. I think we can get one more leer, leer in. Okay. Maybe now we can two or three hit it. Oh yeah, throw a Tail Whip at me. Start lowering my defense. You're too late. Get some tackles. Oh no, I did not do enough. Oh, we're done for. We're done for. The fused Goldeen thing is too powerful. Yeah. Nope, she would have to use teal Tail Whip one more time and she didn't. Well, we're out of usable Pokemon. Dinkleberg wins, and I pay $40. That's about how it's going to go on challenging mode, so... Oh, well. He always knew he was better. He's going to go catch some more Pokemon to see if he can get them to be stronger than this one. Smell ya later. Classic Dinkleberg. Vakanine, before you leave, could you please do me a favor? I need you to pick up a parcel at Viridian City's Pokemart. Yada yada. All the same usual stuff they tell us to do. Turn on my running shoes again. Um, options... Bring the music and sound effects down a little bit more, so then I can up the volume on my end. Make sure all the text speed and everything is good. It is. Um, confirm. And now let's give it a save. Let's officially save the game. There's a gift, different game already saved. Yep, I know. I know. I already backed it up. Don't you worry. Game saved. And now we're auto-saving. Here we go. And our goal is to get to the next town without, hopefully... Well, I guess we'll see if we find any bugs. <gasps> oh, why not? Hmm. Well, oh, you know what? I need to start fighting so I can get my leveling up a little bit. Even though I don't have a... Oh, an Encore. Even though I don't have a bug type yet. I hope this music doesn't get annoying. It's pretty loud on my headset, but... Hopefully you can still hear me over the music. I'll have to test these out. Oh, I hate these battles in the start when it's just non-stop tackling and sitting here trying to fight things and you can't defeat them, faint them, but we'll get leveled up soon. Of course we're going to have that level kind of- oh, hey, he gives me a potion, doesn't he? Yay! Thanks, guy. Um, uh, I don't want to- I don't want to be have the surprise of what we're going to find spoiled. Of course I got distracted by that Pokeball in the ground, and it's another why not. I could get one of my bug- I might have to really plan far ahead for the Elite Four using a Bug-type team. 
Like, I might have to get... I might have to set up my whole team as if it's a competitive team. <laughs> like, like you might have a Kyogre who automatically causes rain, and then you have a Raichu because then his thunder attacks can't miss in the rain. And then you have a Seismitoad because he gets a speed boost in the rain. Like, we might have to start planning that far ahead. And, like, a Wobbuffet's a good wall Pokemon. So, it's not the worst thing to catch. I should... Oh, a Bibarel. That thing isn't even... Jeez, that's already a... Evolved. Um, I guess I might as well fight it. But yeah, we're gonna have to like Wobbuffet would be a good. It can use counter and like mirror move, so that would be a good way to keep me in the fights and also prevent wild Pokemon from running away because it has that Shadow Tag ability. I should say Legendary Pokemon, which the only ones that can run are like there's only like one or two. Um, try not to go through grass, but okay, we're good. The game's skipping a little bit more to start, but I feel like it gets better for part of it. To my token heal, which auto-saves it for us. Um, does this guy trade with us? Oh, he wants a Sparrow for his Bell Sprout. I don't have Sparrow. And whatever you tell me doesn't work, sir. Because I randomized. Okay, Pokemart. We're gonna need Pokeballs. I also know money is a huge issue in this game. There's a huge shortage of cash in the beginning. And we get a free DNA splicer. Cool. Um, we're going to have to complete... There's like pokey jobs or tasks that I'm definitely going to have to focus on completing in this game so that I can get some of the useful items. Uh, let's go around all the grass so that we can not level up our non-bug type. Ooh, hello? What does she want? Oh no! I made her battle me! <sighs> Yabat! Ooh, that's a Yan Mask and a Zubat. That thing's probably got a really high defense. Also, how it... Oh, no! It doesn't affect... It's part Ghost type. I can't even defeat it. And I have one Pokemon. This is fun. This is what happens when you randomize a game. I would smoke screen it, but I definitely don't want to start missing, because I'm going to have to just let it kill me and... Or faint me. So we can move on. Plus, my timer is running out for my 10 minute recording, so. This is fun. Come on, defeat me already. One more. Yep, and I'm done for. Alright, that was fun. There goes my cash. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the Pokemon Center. Of course, it's the one up in this darn uh, Viridian City. So now, let's not battle that person again. Oh, and we ran into a Pokemon. <gasps> There's our bug! There's our bug! Spinarax on this route. Okay. So let's plan to catch a Spinarak and merge it with our Cyndaquil. Or anything else I catch. Not sure I want to just throw Cyndaquil on any random bug. I really want something cool with this Cyndaquil. So maybe we'll keep Cyndaquil in our back pocket. Oh, do not poison me. But yeah, let's go get some Pokeballs and we'll make Spinarak our, our unofficial starter now. And she can take down that Yaw Mask. It pauses every once in a while after I've taken a number of steps to autosave. And just because it's glitchy. Give Oak his parcel. Awesome. And he's going to give us some Pokeballs. Thank you, Professor. And a Pokedex. Yep. He already gave it to Dinkleberg. 175,000 species. Jeez. And I think she gives us something. Oh, maybe he does? Talk to me. Talk to me. Oh no, I'm stuck. This happens sometimes. Aha! He gave us more. Good, good. Because we're out of money after that. Whoa. After that situation. Just made a weird noise. What the heck? Hey, let's get us a spinner rack, eh? There it is. Level 4. That's better than... That's better than before. I have to pay attention to natures, too. Yikes. Yikes. 
Yikes. Yeah, stop that. <sighs> yep, just keep slowing me down. Is that the only... That's the only attack spinner I has. Oh, perfect. Okay. I actually think it's kind of hard to catch Pokemon in the beginning for some reason. Just come on, come on, come on. Nice. There's our starter. Attaboy, Spinarak and Cyndaquil. Here, you make a good team. Bug Poison. So, Bug Poison, that means um, the way it works is the head of the Pokemon becomes... The, it takes that first type, and then the body takes the Pokemon's second type, with some exceptions. So, Spinarak has to be the, the head. And we're going to have to find a body for it to go on <laughs> to keep the bug typing. Let's continue our way along. Um, just in case. Well, here, I'll catch a couple. I think Spinarak might only have String Shot, so. There's our Why Not. We might as well catch one. Could come in handy at some point. Now, yep, see, it's charming down my attack, so I can't do any damage. Oh, thank god for the critical hits. And here come the Encores. Do I risk another attack? I'm going to. Okay, there we go. I need a little bit more. I know Pokeballs are hard to come by. There we go. Okay. Encore ended. Let's get a Pokeball in there. One, two, three. Good job. All done. Okay, we're going to start to put together a little bit of a team here. Psychic. No nickname. So I might find a tanky Pokemon to merge with that. Why not? Like a Snorlax or something. What else do we got? There's an oh, a level 5 spinner rack. Might as well catch them all. Pick whichever one we like more. One might have a better a better uh, nature. I think for spinner rack, we're probably going to want a higher attack, not a special attack. I can always double check and sear B, but... What I'll do is I'll make sure our teams are in line between recordings. I'll do a little little uh, refreshing on... Oh, don't poison me. Thank you. I'll do a little bit of refreshing on what needs to happen with each fusion and like what stats we want high and what kind of attacks. Because I don't remember all the Pokemon off the top of my head, but can you blame me? There's like a thousand of them. Come on. Get the catch. Nice. Okay. Oh yeah, we'll be using this Fusion Splicer pretty quickly. No nicknames. We don't do nicknames here. What time is it? 5.58 p.m. Okay, so we should get some nighttime Pokemon soon. More Sprinter Axe. Ugh, level 2. Might as well faint that thing quickly and get this Syndical to level 7. That way when we merge it, it's not so weak. Yikes. Of course we can catch it, but I won't. Make sure you hear me. I need to make sure I speak up so you can hear me on this microphone. There we go. Okay, thanks, Cyndaquil. What is Cyndaquil's nature, actually? We've got... Oh, good. It doesn't have any... It's serious, so it doesn't have any changes. Spinarak. Lows, lower special attack, raise defense. That actually might be perfect. Lowers attack, raises special defense. That's also perfect based on how we would set up our why not. Lower speed. I don't like the idea of lowering my speed. Okay, so it might be our level 4 spinner rack we want to go with, but I'll let you know. Um, let's heal up and get the auto save in there. Okay, I did just check, and we do want a spinner rack that has a. It's going to be using physical attacks, so our level 4 one that lowers special attack is actually perfect. Um, so we'll have a little bulkier defensive spinner rack. So let me make sure we keep our keep ourselves in line, and I will put level 5 spinner rack into our box. And I will go... Um, I'll check this route a couple more times for anything else we can catch. But I, I'm, we're only seeing why not spinner rack, so we might have to go to another route instead and check out what's there. And I'm gonna get sick of these why not, not letting me run away. Yeah, you keep splashing. 
should throw my why not out there and just have them splash each other back and forth. That would be cute. Just a couple why not splashing themselves in the pool. Okay, goodbye, level two. Okay, one more why not and we're out of here. Nope, it's a spinner rack. Another level fiver. Stage five clinger. Okay, let's go to a different route. Get something better. I'll just go straight north toward the uh, the old forest up here. Uh, route two. So, route one didn't do us any. Oh, a slugma. That's different. Although we already have a Cyndaquil. I don't know what slugma would merge with that looks any cooler, but. Think about it. Oh, great. Oh, is that going to be our only choice here? I'll check this patch of grass four or five times. Okay, Zubat I could roll with. Might not hurt to uh, catch it just in case. The body... So if it's a bug first, then the body would have to be Zubat. I think which would make it flying... It might be a flying bug type, which is pretty much what most bug types are. Um, I don't know. We'll catch it, though. We'll have it in our back pocket. I would like to have two Pokemon for the first gym. Just because... We don't know what type it could be, and we're going to have bugs, and we're going to need probably two Pokemon to battle those two Pokemon. Nice. Okay. Poison flying, yeah, so I think we'd end up bug flying if we merge Zubat with Spinarak. More Slugma. I don't really want anything to do with a Slugma. Come on, let's see. More Slugma. That one's level 5, though. Alright, let's go into the forest and see what's in there. I'm not going to battle anyone yet, because we don't have our... Did she give you something? Oh, Fury Cutter. For 200 bucks? Oh, no one can learn it. Well, I, I like bug Pokemon too, lady, as of this filming. Okay, I don't want to battle, but I do want to grab the mushrooms, because that's needed for an event or a task later. Antidote will help. Um, let's see. We can also check that spider web, but I don't know if we'll get a bug type. Ooh, Cottony. That's pretty neat. That evolves into Whimsicott, which is good for setting up moves. I don't know if they have Tailwind in this game, though. Um, I'll catch it, though. Just want to make sure we have options. Um, Whimsicott, the evolved form, also has a a special ability that lets it move first if it's using a status type move, so like Thunder Wave. That could help us a ton in the Elite Four. So I'm going to keep it in mind for sure. Oh, perfect. Oh, and it absorbs. Need a, I really need to hope we get all these things with one Pokeball because uh, otherwise it might be difficult to catch too many choices. Grass Fairy. Oh, we could have a Bug Fairy type, actually. That's... I said I wanted a Fairy, and Cottony would do it. Um, no. It's not given a nickname. Let's check out... Oh, it didn't have a Pokemon in it. Darn it. Sunkern, not a bad option either. But I'm gonna stay away from the Grass types for now, just because Bug Grass feels, like, very paras Parasect-y. Yeah, of course, that's all we're going to find, because the randomization is going to get us something with stats similar to a bug, and all that we can get out of that is Sunkern. Get our mushroom. They're all poisonous. People trying to kill me. Check a couple. Whooper. Get a ground bug out of that. It's not bad. Catch it and add it to the list. Ouch. I'm hesitant to raise a Pokemon. Oh, no. Son of a gun. Um, Zubat has something to attack with. 
Leech life. I'm hesitant, as I was saying, to uh, merge too many things and use them consistently, because we really need to stick with the Pokemon that we start training up, because I just know how hard it is to level to get the levels we need later in the game. Even rematching trainers, there's no like good trainers later in the game to Matt that you can fight that will... Oh, whoops. Wow, that was a waste of time. I accidentally ran away. Um, as I was saying, there's like no good trainers to fight. Nice. Let's see what's in here. Okay, I guess we're just getting berries instead. Okay, um... Yeah, there's just no way to level up easily in, toward the latter half of the... before the Elite Four. So let's take our findings, let's pick one fusion at least so that we can get training our spinner rack. I do want a Butterfree to mix with something, and I kind of wanted the Whims... I think I'm going to keep do a Butterfree Whimsicott, that sounds... Nice. Um, token heal to get our save in. Okay, and I just did some off-screen research. It looks like uh, Whimsicott, the evolved form of Cottony, will be better as a special attacker slash defender. And with the move that lets it use status ailments first. Yeah, see, it gives priority to a status move. I really think this would be good mixed with a Butterfree, because we can get some Psychic attacks, some Fairy attacks, and then a couple of status moves like Thunder Wave or um, Stun Spore. I don't want to lower its speed and raise its attack, though, so we'll need a different nature. But let's definitely keep Cottony. Let's get Spinarak up to the front. I mean, I could do a summer Spinarak Zubat. Although, again, Crobat's kind of a special attacker, too. Raises speed, though. Um, here, I'll cheat and show you what I usually do to figure this out. I'm going to go to uh, Poison and check out Crobat. Where are you, Crobat? Oh, duh. 79. Oh, no, Crobat can be a physical attacker. That might be our move, then. We might be going Spinarak Zubat to start this game. Let's do it. Let's get really... Let's get down to it. Uh, okay. So. Move. We're gonna do... Cyndaquil, no more with you. That would be cheating. I will keep Whimsicott out here until we find our Caterpie. And why not, until I merge something with you, you're staying back here. And now what I usually do is I save... Yes. And let us merge our Pokemon, and this will be our official starter. So we want the body of the Zubat and then the head of the Spinarak. So body, head, there it is. Our bug flying type to begin our game. <laughs> Welcome to the official start of my video.